What is going on my athletes? It's your boy Gabe back again with another video. This video is a Q&A video. I, uh, I put up the axe thing on Instagram on my story. I had everyone ask me questions. If you don't follow me, it's one underscore more 97. Follow me on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's get started. All right, so the first question is from my sister. I call her my twin. Was your weight loss journey based on mental or physical discipline? Which was harder? Hmm. Um, I'm definitely going to say mental. I remember uh, like going into the gym, looking in the mirror, and just getting depressed. Like, yo, like, why won't this fat get off? I got these titties. But like, <clears throat> you got to tell yourself at that moment that it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to ha happen on that one you know, set of squats over there. So I'm definitely going to say mental. Uh, it was based on my mental discipline and... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say that it was harder. Follow my sister on Instagram. She has, you know, her own business going on. I'll put it right here. Make sure you guys follow her, support the fam. You know, it's my twin. I'm very proud of her for starting her own thing, all right? Now, on to the next question. This is uh from my, my one of my good friends, Emily. All right, so how did you get motivated to be consistent and lose weight? It was literally like, I got tired of all the jokes that I used to get. I got tired of all, you know, like looking at old pictures, I got tired of seeing people from high school. And then, this is a funny story. I'd see people from high school and they'd be like, yo, like you got big. So at first, I'm thinking like, all right, you know, I'm putting on some arms, I'm, I'm getting big. And then, you know, as the months got, you know, longer and then I started seeing people later in life, they would be like, yo, you got big. Like the G would just expand. And I was like, yo, like, all right, like I'm tired of that. And then I remember I went into uh, the gym. This dude asked me if I played football. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I play football. And um, he was like, what position do you play? And I was like, I play, you know, I play receiver. And the dude was like, I'll never forget this. The dude was like, damn, bro, you look like a lineman. So that's when I knew. I was like, yo, this is like, I got to get back to how I was before. And so I could think about. So I just I just made the change and that, that helped me be extremely consistent. Follow my dog Emily on Instagram. Love you, Emily, and I definitely miss you. On to the next question. This is my boy Aaron, aka Louis Legend. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. Uh literally Louis Legend. I'll just leave it down there. I'm not trying to spell no more. But um he asks, what do you like to do when you're not playing football? Okay. So I like to like work out. When I'm not playing football, I like to like to train. For those of you who don't know, I'm still in school, so I'm normally doing homework all the time, writing essays here and there, and I like hanging out with the fam. I'm a big family guy, you know, playing Monopoly all the time, and you know, making videos. You know, I like making YouTube videos. That's basically that's basically it. You know, I play my video games here and there, but that didn't start until quarantine. So um, yeah, it's basically I don't do nothing crazy, you know, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you guys follow my boy Aaron, Louis Legend. <laughs> this next question, this is from one of my baby brothers, uh, Nick, Nicholas Ames. Make sure you guys follow him. Uh, I just wanted you to make a video, so yeah, how was your day? Well, Nick, I'm glad you asked. My day was amazing. Got some training in this morning. Um, now I'm just, you know, making a video. <laughs> make sure you guys follow my boy, Nick. All right, so this next question, one of my athletes, uh, stay greedy. <laughs> make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. He's doing big things. So his question was, who inspires you the most, like a role model? This one, this one's kind of, I'm not going to say it's hard for me, but um, I don't really have a, I got to think about that one. All right, so I looked up to one of my older cousins named Richard, and uh, football-wise, I had a role model, I guess you could say, a person I look up to football-wise is uh, Victor Cruz. If y'all know me, it's my guy. I like to do salsa. I'm a Giants fan, big Giants fan. But, um... Yeah, those were those were my two role models. Richard was, if you guys didn't know, my dad died when I was four. So uh, Richard was like my, my my big big brother, father figure that was in my life. He'd do a bunch of fun stuff, and I always thought he was the coolest guy on this planet. And Victor Cruz is just, in my opinion, one of the best receivers to ever do it. You know, no one can change my mind. So uh, that's basically it. Make sure you guys follow my boy. Stay greedy. Keep doing your thing, man. All right. All right, this next question, uh, Asia, I don't know if it's Chanel or Ch Chan, I, I don't know, but 
my homie Asia. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would have to say, I would have to say Hawaii. I would have to say Hawaii. My friend Mike lives there. Shout out to my boy Mike Delello. Um, he he sends me videos of like the beach, and it is the nicest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I could I would definitely live there if I could live anywhere else in this world. All right. So for this next question, it's from my boy Sosa. He's like my big brother. Um, <laughs> when was the last time you? Okay, we're not gonna get into that, but um, make sure you guys follow my boy so soon. <laughs> this guy's, this guy's funny, man. He, this guy has no chill button. All right, if you ever meet him, good luck. All right, so this next question is from the homie Diane Bridge. She's an upcoming YouTuber. She's uh, doing a series on, you know, basically how to get thick. And if you guys, ladies, if you're watching this and you want to get thick. Go check her out. You know, she's doing her thing. Very proud of you. So uh, her question was, what motivates you? I'm going to assume that we're talking about like the fitness side. So what motivates me is that like I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to how I was. When I was overweight, I was in a miserable spot. I was in a dark place in my life. And I just and I don't want to go back. So like if I ever, you know, feel like I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. I just think about the time that I spent hating myself back in the day when I was overweight. And honestly, that, that like motivates me, you know, to keep going, to keep pushing myself to reach, you know, reach new limits. Um, I do, I do still have, you know, certain girl goals that I want to get to. So I'm, I'm looking at that. So that also motivates me. But um, that, that's a good question. Shout out to you, Diane, everyone, you know, go subscribe to her channel. She's doing her thing. Appreciate you. All right. So for this next question, two of my fans asked the same question. So I'll just shout them both out right now. Um, one of them is Sage. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram. It's the fam. And the other one is N Nelly. Make sure you guys follow them both. All right. So the question is, where do you see yourself in five years? So um, I definitely see myself with, you know, with, with kids, you know, hopefully. Um, I would like to have some kids, yeah, and a beautiful wife. And just sitting on my accomplishments, you know, I, I definitely see myself traveling the world. There's certain things that I want to reach by the age of 30 or before the age of 30 that'll definitely make me financially stable to where I can just wake up and do whatever I want. So I definitely see myself at that type of lifestyle in five years from now. All right, make sure you guys follow them on Instagram. Appreciate you guys. All right, this next question is from the homie Lane. Lane Fair, she's a girl, all right? I know some dudes out there named Lane, but she's a girl. All right, so her question was, how do you stay motivated even on a bad day? Honestly, when I was when I was when I first started this weight loss, I used to watch this motivated uh, video, motivation videos here and there. And this one guy said something that really stood out to me. And this is what I've been using ever since. He said, he said, your worst days are the days where you need to push the most because those are the days that are going to define you. So that's literally what I think about on a bad day, and I just literally push through it because think about it. If I you're going to have more bad days than good. And if you stop working out or you stop pushing yourself on a bad day, then you're never going to reach, you know, to the uh, places that you want to go to. You're never going to reach anything. You're never going to do anything good. You're not going to get no success because you're going to have more bad days than good. So that is what I do to uh, stay motivated even on a bad day. I just remember that quote and I just, I just keep going. Appreciate you, Lane. All right, and for this next question, uh, this is from the homie Raven. Uh, she's actually on her weight loss journey right now. So if I were you guys and you guys, you know, need tips or want to get motivated or just if you're just a regular person who likes to see people, you know, push through certain things, I would definitely go follow her. She actually does YouTube also. Um, so I'll, you know, put everything up so you guys can, you know, click, 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 go to the link or whatever. Everything will be in the description below, by the way. So her question was, what was the hardest part about losing weight? Honestly, the hardest part about losing weight was the diet i'm gonna say the diet and i'm gonna say that actually turned out to be the easiest thing so it was hard at first because when you're you know when you're overweight it's usually because you know you either eat too much or you just don't do anything at all but um you got to break that habit of staying on top of your diet and what i did to lose weight was i went on a caloric deficit meaning i had to eat less calories than i burned and that that was kind of difficult at first because you know you know i would be hungry 
because I'm used to eating more calories. But um, once I got through that, it actually became fun, you know, switching around, seeing, okay, how much of this can I eat? And, you know, for me not to reach over my calories. So that would definitely, you know, has to be in that, that category for the hardest part of losing weight. But uh, appreciate you, Raven. Keep grinding. All right, I see you. Keep grinding. All right, for this next question, it's from my boy Cody. We work out together. We train together. So um, his question was, how did you change your mindset to wanting to work out and wanting to stay motivated? I was like, I just got sick of it. I just got sick of, you know, being overweight. Um, I knew at the time that if I continued to be consistent, if I continued to keep going, because I understood that nothing happens overnight. So if I told myself, Gabe, okay, if you can keep doing this, you know, you will see a change. So, like, um, I just made a schedule and I just stayed on it. I stuck to, through that schedule and, you know, next thing you know, I started seeing results. So, yeah. That's it. I think that that can answer that question. Shout out to my boy Cody. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. All right, this next question. Uh, shout out to my boy Chris. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. Um, I believe he's in the real estate. So if you guys need to buy a house, come on, boy up. But um, he asks, when when are we gonna get back to the dynamic duo back on the field? Yo, know, the minute this Rona stuff is over, whew, bro, we are out there. I promise. Make sure you guys follow my boy. All right, so for this next question from one of my followers, Roadhouse, make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. He asked me, how does it feel being an inspiration? And when I saw that, I was like, wow, like, that's crazy. It's, it feels, it feels good. And, and like, it's part of the reason why I do this, because I know there's a lot of people out there who, who like hated being overweight or who are overweight. That just needs the extra motivation to keep going or to start. I remember when I was overweight, I was, man, I wanted to kill myself. I was literally, I was suicidal. I, I was to myself and I hated it. So I was like, you know what? When I, when I wanted to make that change, I'm going to document everything. That's what I told myself so I could help motivate and inspire everyone else who's going through what I'm going through. So, I mean, it feels great. And, you know, I appreciate you calling me an inspiration, man. I appreciate that. But make sure you guys follow my boy, all right? And this last one, uh, this last question is from my boy, Stanley Lou. You guys might know him by Lou Rags. I know him as Stanley. This is this is the fam. He, he asked me a question. Do you miss being fat? <laughs> Hell no. I'm gonna be real. I do not miss being fat. I don't ever want to go back. You know, being being fat and overweight. It's just I was in a miserable miserable spot. I don't want to go back. So no, I do not miss being fat. Make sure you guys go follow my boy Stanley. He does um, Lou Rags. That's what we like to call him, the do-rags, but his last name is Lou, so we add the Lou into the rag, I know. Crazy. But, um, you know, he does his thing. Make sure you guys follow him. He makes music, too, all right? He's from Broward, he's, but he sounds different from Broward, all right? I'm going to be real. So I'm going to leave everything in the description below. Make sure you guys follow my boy, support the fam, all right? All right, so I got, I got two more. They're not really questions, but you know, I, I got to put it out there. Got to shout him out for participating. All right, so this is from one of my followers, Aaron. Make sure you guys follow him. He said, no question, but keep grinding. I don't personally know you, but I respect you a lot, and I appreciate that, man, and I definitely respect you, too. Appreciate that love. All right. Last but not least, this is from uh, one of my boys, Adam. He said, not a question, but keep grinding. Appreciate you, Brody. But make sure you guys follow Adam. You know, he's in the cars. He's doing his thing on YouTube. Make sure you guys follow him. And... And that was all the questions that I have for you guys today. Listen, everyone who participated, uh, I just want to say thank you. You know, it's extra content that I get to put out there. So I want to say thank you for everyone doing your thing. Keep grinding. Keep going. And I know you guys have been looking at this. Yeah, so I'm doing a little something, starting my own brand, starting some merch. So um, go over to my merch page and hit that follow button. Stay tuned because I'll be dropping some stuff soon for male and female can't leave the ladies out so make sure you guys stay tuned all right make sure you guys stay humble keep grinding and remember the path to paradise is through hell all right make sure you guys keep grinding all right i'll catch you guys on the next one we out listen i apologize i noticed things been going off all video i will change the batteries i got y'all